kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown Barrett. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Water Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday here with the Madden 19 franchise of the Los Angeles Chargers Fantasy Draft. That is right, we are back and we are starting year number two of the series in the last episode we did the off season was it a success was it a failure i guess you could go like in between the two it was kind of just like a meh off season we we drafted some young guys we signed a couple free agents we didn't really make any big moves we did add to the depth of this team we signed a couple good corners maybe a linebacker or two i can't remember exactly but we just basically brought back the entire team that we had last year which was not a very good team it was kind of just a middle-of-the-road team. But now we have Mike Tomlin as our head coach. He will be getting his debut as the Chargers coach in today's episode as well. We have Josh Allen in year number two. Can he take the next step? I sure hope so. That's what we're banking on here. And the rest of this team, I think, can continue to progress, I guess. I don't really know. We'll have to wait and find out. If you are excited for more Throwback Thursday content and more content in general, Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club, and let's get to it. So here we are in the main menu. Week number one, we're taking on the Indianapolis Colts. And as we take a look at this lineup, Josh Allen is our starting quarterback, year number two. I'm hoping that he can take a big time boost. I'm, I'm hoping that he can jump into like the low to mid 80s by the end of the season. He has star development, which mean, means he earns XP higher. That is the goal for him to earn XP at a higher rate. He's got 99 throw power already. So throw power is not the issue. It's his awareness that needs to get huge bumps up. It's his break sack, his accuracies other than his throw on the run ability and everything like that. So everything needs to get a huge bump up here um i need to plug the controller in really quickly is that working this controller just uh have had problems with this controller in the past so hold on one second okay so it might work i hope it does but as you can see he's earning decent goals in the preseason already so 76 overall josh allen i'm really hoping that it works out for us I do want to check the scheme. I want to make sure that we're running a, the scheme that fits us the best. And right now it looks like vertical power run is the best scheme to fit here on offense. And on defense, we might as well run a base 4-3 because that seems to be the best, the best thing for us there on the scheme fit. And as far as the offensive playbook, we probably should try and run maybe not the Steelers playbook. I'll let the Steelers playbook go for the first part of the season, but if we continue to struggle, then I will, uh, I'll change that and we'll go to a different playbook for the second half of the season in uh, next Thursday's episode. But as for the rest of the team, we look basically the same. We still got Antonio Brown, still got Christian McCaffrey, Edelman, John Ross is down there. Uh, the offensive line is a little bit different because we lost Josh Sitton, our left tackle, who is uh, retired now. So we have our rookie and I think it's, Sean, it's Spencer Hobbs. I thought it was Sean Hobbs. But he's a rookie out of BYU. 76 overall with normal development kind of sucks. But uh, that's what we have. <laughs> that's what we have. And on defense, our safety spot is a little bit shaky. Other than that, we look pretty decent. I like our linebackers. I like the corner situation now more than I did last season. And I like the defensive line a little bit better. So it says we have pretty good um, offensive ratings. 89 offense, 87 defense. We should be a good team. We should be able to win these games. I guess we'll find out how we play week one against the Colts. Let's go get it against them and start, hopefully, 1-0. Hello again, everybody. It is the coach. You're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. We are just moments away from what should be an excellent matchup between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Indianapolis Colts. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. 
All right, much appreciated, Coach, as we welcome all of you to our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. And I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up and ready to play. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Chargers, an early season tilt. And when it's an early season tilt, should be ready. Week one of the season as we drop you into the first drive of this ball game and get our first look at this offense. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We are starting year number two on the on offense with the ball, and we are going to start with some play action here against the Indianapolis Colts on the road. Can we get the ball off? There it is. That was a very ugly throw, but luckily we have Antonio Brown on the receiving core, so it worked out in our favor. Can we start with a touchdown? I would love that. We need to see some big improvements from Josh Allen. We were talking about that in the uh, the intro before the game. We need to have big improvements from Josh Allen. It's just that simple. We need to have him show some signs of progress in his career so that we can feel comfortable having him be the starting quarterback of a championship team. Because that's what we're going for. We're going for championships. As I'm going to dump that down to Mike Williams. He's going to be stopped short of the first down marker. We'll go verticals. Maybe a little bit of a sketchy situation. Sketchy play call. I will roll to the side and take off with Josh Allen. And somehow get the first down. I probably should have just chucked that to, to Christian McCaffrey on the check down. But I didn't get the first down. Oh, I don't know about that. I clearly got the first down there, but they say that I did and they say I was denied. We will go with Marshawn Lynch, the veteran, and he will be denied. Marshawn Lynch, no good. Not what I expected. Not what I expected at all. The Indianapolis Colts have uh, Jimmy Garoppolo as their quarterback. And it looks like we got a turnover. That's awesome. You love to see that. Love to see a little turnover action by this defense who at least on paper seems to be pretty good who knows when we actually get there and that's the interception that's not josh allen's fault that's 100 percent on me i tried to throw that a little quickly to julian edelman he wasn't ready for it dante hightower is just standing right there in the middle i didn't even really just think i didn't think he was ever going to make a play on it i should have thought he was going to make a play on it that one's on me so that's interception for Josh Allen. Unfortunately, that's not what I want him to, to do. <laughs> I don't want him to have interceptions because that ruins his development. Or it slows his development at least. So we'll see if we can score a touchdown here. I kind of want to do a slant route with Julian Edelman, but I don't think that's going to work. Because it'll bring more people to the middle of the field. I don't want to do that. And we have Antonio Brown. Ooh, Antonio got hit hard in the middle. He does hold on to the football, though, and we'll go with a stick route because Jimmy Graham could get open, or I guess uh, Antonio Brown could. I'm going to check that down to Jimmy, and Jimmy will walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. Josh Allen with his first touchdown of the season. That's exactly what you want to see out of the boys, and we start with a lead. We keep on going. I'll let the CPU take care of this one, and we score another touchdown there. The Colts do put up a touchdown to go down by seven. We're into the third quarter now. I'll jump in on third down here and get a little bit of a, get some action going here. I like Antonio Brown's route here. I also like Edelman's route. Uh, let's hit Edelman on the route that I should never have thrown. This is Madden, I forgot. This is Madden, not real life NFL. In real life NFL, that's more of a competitive throw. But in Madden, that's an easy guaranteed interception every single time. And that's probably going to lead to them tying the game up at 14 and they do they tie it up but it's in the red zone this is a very low scoring game two turnovers which are the two interceptions by josh allen both on my fault they're not just josh allen being a low rated quarterback it's just my fault mccaffrey will get the first down on second down in inches he's got 94 yards and a touchdown for himself 
And with this, we could possibly win the game. It's not guaranteed by any means. But it is wide open. It's Smith. Big time catch from him. He was wide open. Absolutely butt naked. He was butt naked. Uh, check that down. It's Julian Edelman with the catch. Jimmy Graham might have been the better option. He might have been open there. But I just decided to check that down to Edelman. And are we going to be able to get a run play with, with Christian McCaffrey? Is this possible? No, it's not because Josh Allen just standing still. That is... I forgot that those kind of glitches happened in this game. <laughs> I forgot that those kind of glitches happened. He didn't even hand the ball off. He just completely let Edelman or let uh, McCaffrey run past him and then just stood there and waited. But luckily, Antonio Brown's a demon, and he's able to catch that. And the Chargers go up by a touchdown in the fourth quarter. Josh Allen, baby. Joshua Allen with a big-time touchdown. And they tie the game. They tie the game. The Colts, 21-21. Can Josh Allen lead a fourth-quarter comeback victory? That's going to be aggressive catch. Mike Williams, he dropped it on the catch or on the tackle. Mike, I know you're a young player, but you can't drop that. You just can't drop that. That's an easy catch that you need to make, and you didn't make it. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's a big-time play. Antonio Brown's wide open. He's down the field. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Antonio Brown. A, B, goes for A, T, D. Nobody back there to help the corner after he got dusted. And that is the game. Josh Allen with the victory because of an Antonio Brown wide open touchdown. You love to see it. <coughs> You absolutely love to see it. Antonio Brown is the player of the game, as he should be. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Allen, 19 of 28, 286 yards, three touchdowns to just two picks. Both those picks were my fault. Hopefully that doesn't hurt his development too much. McCaffrey, 21 carries, 94 yards, and a touchdown. AB, seven catches, 163 yards, and two touchdowns. Edelman had six for 50. Jimmy Graham also had a touchdown as well, we saw. Von Miller with 12 tackles. Sean Lee and Ryan Shazier had 11. I'm very happy with our linebacking core. We had six sacks of Jimmy Garoppolo by Von Miller. We had seven in total, one by Big John Hankins, but six sacks in one game by Von Miller. We also picked off uh, Jimmy Garoppolo twice with Joe Hayden. But six sacks by one person in a single game is absolutely insane. I cannot believe what I just saw. And we deserve to win this game. We start 1-0, hopefully making our way to the playoffs. All right, we start the simulation portion of the episode. Josh Allen, can he lead this team to a 2-0 start? We're playing the 1-0 Jacksonville Jaguars. What is going to happen here? Please say 2-0 on the record sheet. It is. We win by three. I'll take it, though. I will take it. That's a big W to start 2-0. Now, let's see what kind of scouting we have. What kind of prospects are we working with here in this second draft? So we've got Ed Lynch, a pass rusher from Stanford. He's a speed rusher. He's an early first-round talent. Looks pretty solid. Scott Starkey, also an early first round tackle from Oregon, D-tackle from Oregon. Looks really, really good. I'm going to have both these guys on the board, but unfortunately our draft picks are probably going to be pretty low. Basmine Rice looks like an absolute beast, so we'll have those three guys on the board. I don't think we'll get any of them unless we make a major trade, but we are going to go up against the 0-2. I think they're still Oakland at this point. Oakland Raiders. I don't think they've moved to Vegas yet. And can we go 3-0? Is it possible? Unfortunately, we lose to the 0-2 Raiders. And, uh, yeah. That makes a ton of sense. That makes a ton of sense. We go up against the 2-1 Bengals. They don't have Joe Burrow yet, so 
This Bengals team's not going to be very good. Obviously, it's a fantasy draft, so we don't know who's on their roster. We lose 42-14 to against the Bengals. We're 2-2 two and two now, and we're starting to fall off a little bit. I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit scared. And there's a new injury. Who's the injured player? It is going to be uh, Jalen Watkins. So our only free safety, now Troy Apke gets to play. Our only free safety. We're going up against the Packers in week five. We got a bye next week. We got to end this game with a victory. We got to go into the bye with a W. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. There it is, 13 to 6. We add a big time W. We'll do a little bit of scouting here as we go into the bye week. We'll just keep scouting some of the top players in the draft. A couple quarterbacks in the top 10. Very interesting. We don't need a quarterback because we have Josh Allen. But we'll just keep spending these points on the top guys. We'll get to the top 15, top 16. All right, we'll take a look. I'll take a look at these guys off camera, and then I'll show you guys some of my favorites uh, next episode as we simulate to week seven against the Bears. We'll probably get to week eight. Week nine is probably where we'll stop for this this episode. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we got here in the record wise. Josh Allen's a 77 overall. I need him to develop. I really do. We're taking on the 3-3 three three Chicago Bears. Ah, Bears. Can we get a victory and go to four wins? Please show me a W. Please show me a W. That's a big loss. We only had two points on the day. Two points on the day? Really? I guess. And now we go to play the 4-3 and three Chiefs. A division game, a massive game. Are we going to lose back to back? Are we going to lose back to back? We do. And our offense is just not putting up points. We're scoring two points, which I'm assuming is a safety in the last week. Then we get two field goals today. Unreal. Why are we not scoring any points? I don't, I don't have any idea why. This offense seems to be pretty good. Is it really that heavily uh, reliant on the left? tackle is he really not playing that good i mean josh allen i'm hoping plays better i really need him to <laughs> i really need him to play better we could take a look at the stats so far through the first few weeks of the season he's only throwing he's only got six touchdowns to five interceptions josh allen's not playing very well he's just simply not mccaffrey's doing all right i think we definitely need to switch the playbook up i think we definitely need to switch the playbook i think i'm gonna go with carolina playbook to get Christian McCaffrey more involved since he is much, uh, very much a stud. So I think I, I'm either going to go to that or the Kansas City playbook. Although the Kansas City playbook doesn't allow for running backs very often. So it's going to be interesting to see. I don't really know what the best playbook would be. Uh, we can spend these final scouting points before we end the video here. Just keep going down the list. Once we get a little bit later in the season, I will start to go through a more specific um, position by position and scout some guys that what I feel like we need which is probably going to be a, maybe a little bit offensive line some defensive line some corners probably and then we'll I'll just keep going through but I, I want to just get the top guys scouted so we kind of know what we're doing there and uh, we might have a higher pick now because we had uh, what the 15th pick when we checked that last time and now we probably are going to have a top 10 pick I would guess if we go to uh, the picks we have 16 so we actually went up one very interesting but that is going to do it for this episode in the next episode we will play uh, week nine against the jets and then we will simulate the rest of the season get to the playoffs maybe i don't know i have i have i don't know if we're going to make the playoffs the players ready to negotiate who's ready for a contract this season austin eckler mo claiborne john ross okay not anybody like absolutely in integral to the team I'd like to bring back Jerome Baker, Johnny Smith I'll bring back, Edmonds I'll bring back, Phillips probably, John Ross probably. I'll probably bring back these top guys just because I like them. Uh, maybe not Lawrence Timmons because he's 33. Apke I'll probably bring, bring back his depth. And then obviously I'll bring back Jalen Brown and, and, and Cardale. But we got plenty of money, so we'll be able to bring those guys back. And they're not going to cost us that much money. But to start season number two, we are three and four. Not the greatest start to year number two, but hey, it's better than the start we had last year because I think we only had one win last year. Maybe we were under, or we had, we were winless. I can't remember exactly what, how we started last season, but we are progressing, I guess. We still have to, it's all dependent on what Josh Allen does. It really is. It's all dependent on what Josh Allen produces on the field. 
if he can develop, then we're going to be off to the races. If he can't, then we're going to just be in stuck in the mud. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. That's going to do it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. If you want to see more content from me, then uh, make sure to go and look around the channel. There are other two other channels that I have. If you enjoy NBA 2K content or if you enjoy MLB The Show content, I have two other channels that focus solely on those things. So if you want to go check those out, feel free. Or if you just want to stick around here and watch more videos on the main channel, do that as well. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.